I'm just a game writer and a game translator from English into Spanish. Uh, I've been uh, making games for like 10 years now and uh, uh, I, I love every day, every single day because uh, I'm working what I love. One important thing is like we, the game writer is not the game writer. The real game writer is the player. Okay. The player writes the game while she is playing and we just provide the player with the tools to write their own story. So you just said that you've been around a decade in the gaming yeah, industry. Ten. So how has the journey been? Oh, it's been really, really fun. I mean, I didn't, I, I, I've never been a gamer. That, ah. That's really strange. Sometimes I need to apologize to people for not being a gamer. I mean, I love games okay. and, I, and I, I have great fun playing games, but I've never been the kind of gamer that spends all the time uh, playing. I like stories. I mean, that's, that's why I'm here. And, I, and I, I'd be happy uh, writing novels and I'd be happy uh, writing uh, comic books or, mm -hmm. or, or movies, but games are way more interesting for me uh, because that's where things are happening now okay. because uh, games are changing the way that we see stories, okay. the way they see narrative because they are completely, it's the, the, the new media is so, so, so new and that we can experiment and fail a lot and I, and I like failing and I'm really good at failing. <laughs> but through failure you go towards success which also reminds me, uh, you were here giving a session on uh, dual character writing. Uh, dual narrative. Yeah. Dual narrative, yeah. So tell us a little more about your session. Oh, uh, the dual narrative is just a, a very stupid way to to, to, to speak about uh, how games, how game narrative is made. It's just uh, there's a play. Every time that the player plays, she is creating a story. Mm -hmm. Like like what I said about Tetris. Mm -hmm. You're playing Tetris and you're telling yourself the story of how you play Tetris. Okay. And that's a really interesting story because it's yours because mm -hmm. it's real. It's not fictional. Yeah, as long as the story connects to you, then yeah. you will also have and, and a then, and then, uh, But then some games can have another narrative that is not the narrative of the player, but it's like an embedded narrative that, okay. that, that we game writers or game developers put inside it. So we must understand how the real story of the real player is, look at it from many sides, understand it, and then try to make our game narrative similar to it. So you so need so to have like a 360 degree viewpoint of the entire situation. Yeah, th th that's it. We, we need to understand what the player wants to be told. Okay. And then we can tell it and, and we can we can help the player create so how do you, how do you story. how do you gauge what a player needs to know about in a game? Like like you said, you need to look at a situation. Say a game is yeah, a like based on a situation. You look at it from all point of views. So how do you gauge that? The, I think that the first thing is that to remember that you are a player. The, the, okay. the, like, like when you're developing, say, what would I like to do? And the first thing is you get to know your mechanics. I mean, we are, we must be respectful and humble, not only to the player, but to game mechanics. I mean, narrative is a part of game design. One of the smallest part, but it's okay. a part. So, so we got a, uh, our head is, is, the, is the design head. Okay. The, the, the main designer is, is, is our reference ever. So we just got to understand how the game mechanics are uh -huh. and then understand where and how the, the game will be played. Okay. It's not the same writing a game for, for iOS okay. than writing a game for a console okay. or, for, or for a handheld. Or for, so we need to understand, okay, when people, when my player will play this game, she will be at school, she will be home, she will be in the metro, in the subway, uh, and what kind of, of, of narrative she can really enjoy okay. when, when she's playing that game. So uh, tell me one thing also, when you were giving uh, your speech yesterday in the session, any any uh, specific uh, question you remember which somebody from the audience it, asked? It, it was really amazing. The, um, people ca came out with lots of questions that I didn't have the answer for. Yeah, probably like, because like, India is like a, like a land of stories. There's a wow, story every eight yeah, miles. Yeah, yeah. And then a, a guy told me that, that, that they are making a game about uh, that it's like an RPG, uh -huh. but you don't have uh, talent points okay. uh, that make you uh, better at skills okay. like, like, like killing or uh, running or, okay. or being more strong. So there's no skill set upgradation in the game? The skill set is uh, like empathy. Ah. The, your decisions 
have changed the the way that other people see you. Not they do not change who you are. They change who they look at um, and how they perceive you. So like a person's you. viewpoint about the yeah, movie that I missed the I game. Found, I found that amazing and, and, and this guy was telling me and how should I do it and how should I, hey man, you know way more than me. I mean, you've, you've come out with, with this great idea about how players can create their own character in a very uh, new way. So I have no, no answer for you. Uh, I can play your game and tell you what I think and I can and you can Probably you guys should like brainstorm together and like new stories. Yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's <laughs> absolutely great. And uh, that's well, one thing that I found here in, in India is there's a lot of people with a lot of new ideas. And uh, even if India is excelling at systemic puzzle games, uh -huh. which I think India is one of the best countries in the world for that, they are great, great systemic games. Thank you. No, I mean, it's just like, wow, I, I love this systemic puzzle game. Where is it from, India? Okay, and I love this other one. Where is it from, India? Oh God! Or probably because we like to like solve confusion crumbs. Right? Oh, maybe, maybe I don't know, but but I, I I think that that India excels at that absolutely. Even though now th there's people trying to, to to rethink narrative, and I, I'm, I'm I'm really scared what Indian people can do to narrative. <laughs> which which reminds me, uh, my last question to you for today, Jose. What uh, what should people look forward to from you in terms of new game stories? Wow, Any new games which we should expect from you. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm writing five games at the same time. Writing uh, any spoilers we can like. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm writing a sneak peek. a platformer. Okay, it is real great. You know, uh, Nightcrawler from the X Men. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so it's uh, the one with the three fingers and yeah. he can teleport. So you, you know that he teleports yeah, from yeah. somewhere that he can see. Yeah. So, so the the main hero in our game is is someone who can teleport, but the idea is that the the game starts when you kill the final boss. Oh. The game, you kill the final boss and then the game starts. Oh, very nice. So, so and, and, and you're playing backwards in time. Oh, so basically the entire game is like a culmination of events which you've yeah. like already done the you, first. You remember the film Memento? Yeah. Maybe? So it's like going oh. backwards. Okay, going okay, backwards okay. So you're just going backwards into the story while the game is progressing. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's very good. That's, that, very that, good. that's, that's the idea. And, and it's a very small game. I mean, uh, we, we did it with, with, without any money uh, so but it's really it, it started out as a student project but now it's grown and, and it's really great i'm writing a, i'm finishing writing a pokemon like game uh it's a augmented reality uh -huh. game where you must uh, collect and fight with uh microscopic beings okay. everywhere so so okay. you're and you capture them with your uh, camera okay with the camera in your mobile you okay. you, you you look, you zoom, 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 till you see the microscopic beings that can be, for example, uh, they are, of course, they are not real microscopic uh -huh. things. They are like the small uh, being. Like small microbes kind of a thing. La even small, like the secret ingredient to Coca-Cola oh, okay, is okay. one of our specimens. Okay. So, so you get a, you, you, you get a. I hope Coca-Cola. Like yeah, it's you. a really great game. It's called After Zoom. Okay. And uh, it was, uh, it, it's a reboot of the of the whole IP. Mm -hmm. It was available for uh, Nintendo 3DS, and right now it will be for mobile, for v PS Vita, and uh, mobile. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And uh, so, so that's two games. Then I just finished writing a game for uh, Save the Children, mm -hmm. you know, the NGO. Yes, yes, I do. So I do, it, I do. it's a, a small game about uh, about children rights. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so it, it's, so it's an informative game, it's an informative game. Oh, yeah, but the, the, the main, the cool thing about it is that you don't know this, it's informative. Okay, okay. So it's okay. an adventure game and um, you just, you're playing into it and, and when you're like 20 minutes of playing, then you can start seeing that children rights are there, but they are not imposed to you. You, you, you don't need to, uh, to to know about them. Okay. It's just you're playing and it's fun. And, okay. s and then in the achievements, you can learn about children rights. Very nice. So, so it's, not, it's not like imposed. Very nice. So, so, so that's there. three. And I'm writing another game that's called Blues and Bullets. Mm -hmm. That is a um, bit of a telltale way of doing things, uh -huh. you know, a bit of Walking Dead, uh, The Wolf Among Us, uh -huh. but with shootings too. Okay, so right. It's, nice. real it's like a shooter game. Yeah, it's, okay. like, it's, it's shooter and investigation and moral okay. decisions all at the same time. So it, it has some, uh, you know, the Batman uh, mechanics, okay. the investigation mechanics, so okay. they're really similar. Right so nice. It's a really 
interesting game to work with, and I'm r having a great time writing the dialogue great. and, and great. creating the characters, and so. So nice. that makes four that's games. That's yeah, that's four. <laughs> that's four. And then that brings us to the last one you're telling you're pretty confused about. So that's there. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the <laughs> I've started writing a game just last week, and I, I'm I'm still. So probably that's the writer's blog there. Probably that's why you can't think of. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's the sequel to a game I, I, okay. I did some time ago. So okay. th uh, that means that that it was cool, that, that the first game was really okay, because okay. we're now uh, doing the, the, the second part. But I still don't know what will come out of that. Probably uh, something better. I hope. Considering <laughs> this was your first visit to NASCOM, so tell us something yeah. about NASCOM. Wow, it's been... How is the feeling like? My feeling is that uh, we, the people who give the speeches, uh -huh. are the worthless people here. Because every time that I speak to anyone, to a student, to a game developer, to... Uh, I don't care where they come from. The, people is absolutely great here. The, uh, my feeling is that the whole country is bursting with new ideas mm -hmm. and that, and that uh, this is a, 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 a territory where gaming is exploding and, and that I really hope to see great games coming from India because the ideas that people is having here are absolutely amazing. And I, I just have to, you know, like be really, really humble and respectful again uh, for what people is doing here. Well, here's wow. to hoping you find better talent. <laughs> Thanks a lot for being Thank here. Thank you. It was, it was a pleasure having you. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure.